Hello, lovely friends from the internet. It is Connie, and today I am actually gonna go to my mom's house because I want to play the piano for a little bit. Because my mom is like out of the country right now, and I know she won't need to like have her piano free to give like classes because she's a piano teacher. So most times I'm like, I don't want to go there to play, and then she'll need to like give a lesson to some student, and I'm gonna be like, okay, sorry, I was in your piano, I don't know man. I'm just gonna go play some piano, hang out with my dog Luna, play some guitar, play whatever instrument I find in front of me, honestly. And yeah. Every day I'm shuffling. Is that party rock? What is that song, man? It's stuck in my head now. Party Rock is in the house tonight. <laughs> I think that's a that's a song. Have a good time. All right, it's time to stop. You have arrived to your destination. I have. You haven't. Ha. Anyway, I'll see you at the piano. Ah. Hello. I was just playing with the piano and I came up with some chords that I really enjoyed so I might try to write something with it but I don't know, like this is what I have right now, alright? Um, let me see But yeah, let me know. literally fell asleep because I was playing. Oh, she wake up, she woke up. Hi Luna. Hello. She's so cute. Hello, I am back. And honestly, I'm gonna smoke now because I feel like it, you know, I just feel like it. And today I am having such a nostalgic day, man, because first of all, it's the month that makes like a year anniversary of the time I created my channel, you know, so on the 25th, of this month is gonna be like a year since I posted my first video. And I posted my first video parked exactly where I am right now. This was exactly where I was. I was standing, I don't know, I think it was in a driver's seat actually, and I was just talking about my story of how I started smoking cigarettes, something like that, you know? Um, and yeah, I'm feeling super nostalgic because I was playing the piano and blah, I'm gonna talk about that. But yeah, I'm gonna smoke as well. And maybe after I'll go buy some cigarettes. But if I'm going, you guys are coming with me because I'm not about to go through social interactions alone. So yeah, I'm bringing you along if I do go, I don't know. Let's light it up. But I definitely, oh my God. All right, I definitely do need to go buy some. First of all, because I have two left in this pack or like one, I have one left in this pack. And I've been smoking stale cigarettes for like a week because they went stale in like a week. It was super fast. Um, but yeah, you know what, whatever. 
But as I was saying, today I'm feeling super nostalgic because uh, I don't know, I've just, I'm standing in the street where I lived for majority of my life, you know, for like 18 years of my life. Um, I'm parked in the exact spot where I recorded the first video I ever posted. I was playing the piano for like two hours and I don't know. I don't really talk too much about piano on this channel because I don't want you guys to always want me to play the piano or something because it's not something that I do as often as I used to. Um, so I don't want to be like, I play piano, I play piano. And then everyone is like, all right, then show us. And then I'm like, nah, I don't feel like it, you know. But definitely playing the piano today, like just reminded me of how much I need to have instruments in my life because if I don't have them, I just don't have a way of putting my feelings out, you know? I can write as much as I want in my little journal, I can talk as much as I want here on YouTube, you know? But there's nothing that makes me feel better than actually playing either the guitar, the ukulele or the piano, which is what feels best for me. Yeah, I started uh, playing the piano when I was really young, I was like maybe three or four years. Oh, I just spit all over the place, by the way. That was disgusting. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Um, when I was really young, I started by playing the violin because my mom uh, played the piano already and she wanted me to play another instrument. So I started by the violin when I was like th two or three. I don't know. Um, but from what everyone said, I was not like very attracted to it or something. And then she just put me in piano and I liked that a lot more. But the problem is with every, and this happens to me with every like education system. If I have deadlines, if I have exams, I cannot like do something just for the enjoyment of it. I have to do it because I want to have a perfect score. I have to do it because I have this deadline on this day that I have to learn this music by. And if I don't learn it by then, I will be stressing out and I will be panicking. And um, I had on and off classes for a lot of years and I quit a lot of times because I didn't like the fact that I had to play music you know I wanted to play music when I wanted to which was the majority of days but because I had this pressure of I have to play because I have classes because I have exams because I have auditions I didn't want to do it anymore you know so I quit and I don't regret that at all like I feel like my parents would think that when I was a child if they let me quit I would regret it a lot when I was older which I understand but I don't regret quitting because I think that I, f I didn't have quit. Is that how you word it? I don't know. I think that if I continued playing the piano forced and like scared of deadlines and the auditions and the classes that I didn't want to have, I would not like it as much as I like it today. So I am very glad that I put my foot down and I was like, parents, I will not have any more classes. I will not do more exams. Um, yeah, and I was like, I was like eight or nine or 10 or 11. I don't know when I quit. And I don't even know what age I was, all right? But I think it was a good decision because I would not like to play the piano as much as I do if I hadn't quit, if I didn't quit. And yeah, honestly, there was a point in like 2020, 2021, I think, where I was like, all right, let me get back to this. I will do exams. I will start studying really hard. I want to do the exams. I want to maybe be a piano teacher when I'm older. But then I started on the grind of studying piano again so much that I was like, damn, I'm really losing the passion that I have for this because I'm putting pressure on myself because I know I have an exam that I have to study for. And I was like, you know, no, I'm not going to ruin this for myself. And a lot of people in my life have been like, but you, you like, you have talent, you know, you could pursue it if you really tried really hard, but I don't want to try hard. I don't want to lose the love that I have for the instrument. And I know that I will lose the love for it if I make it like a very serious thing in my life, you know? And that's a thing that I have with making hobbies your work, which I think if you are able to maintain the passion that you have for your hobby, um, then that's really good. But if you make a hobby your work, then you will most likely lose your passion for it and it will not be as fun anymore. And I didn't want that to happen with music because music is like my escape from everything. Like when I'm feeling down, like the last video I recorded was two days ago and I was feeling super bad. And that's why today I decided to come here and play the piano for some hours. And I'm feeling like I was reborn, man. I'm feeling rejuvenated. I am so good. And I will never want to lose the feeling that I have for the piano, you know, because if I lose it, then 
what will I do when I'm sad, you know, I don't know. So yeah, those are my thoughts on the piano situation. So I don't know, I could post some covers, not covers, like piano songs, you know, not on this channel, but maybe on the second channel. I post a lot on Instagram, like when people go to my Instagram, I, I don't have like really smoking pictures or anything. I just have music. I have like singing covers, piano covers, ukulele, guitar, whatever. It's all there, you know. Um, I have some selfies, of course, because it's Instagram. Sometimes I want to take a selfie and post it, but mostly it's like music. Um, and I feel like people are really surprised. They expect my Instagram to, feel, to be filled with like smoking things. But I don't know. I feel like smoking is like on YouTube, you know, and then Instagram I use for music, I guess. And then buy me a coffee also has smoking pictures and stuff. But I don't know. I'd rather have like music in one place and not do much more with that place. I don't know. I just really treasure music with all my heart. It's my savior. It has saved my life so many times. So many times I was so, so down. I didn't think I would get through it. And then I would compose something. I would play my heart out. I would listen to something and I would just feel so much better. And yeah, so I think that's why I will never make playing piano a professional thing. But yeah, just thought I would explain. But yeah, I think I will, I don't know what I'm gonna buy. Like, I don't know if I'm gonna buy l &M Blues. I don't know if I'm gonna buy Camel Yellows. I don't know if I'm gonna buy another variant of Marlboros. I don't know what I haven't tried yet. And I discovered the other day that I think the Marlboro Silver Blues are like a, an European variant because I haven't seen any American make a review on Marlboro Silver Blues. Honestly, I haven't seen a Marlboro Silver B Blue review on the internet, so I don't know if it exists in America, but I don't know what other variants, like other types of Marlboro exist here, so I might like ask the person on the place I'm gonna buy them, you know, I don't know. But yeah, I think I'm gonna finish this and then I'm going to go buy some cigarettes. I don't know. I'm, I don't know if I feel like talking to someone right now. Do I? Man, it's not that hard. Why do I overcomplicate it so much? It's literally just going up there being like, hello, do you have X cigarette? And they'll be like, yeah, here you go. Give me the money. And I'm like, here you go. And then I have the cigarettes. It's so simple, but I'm here like thinking that something is going to happen if I talk to someone. I don't know, man. It's annoying. But it's time to get over myself. Let's go. All right. I have decided. I am going to get to Marlboros. I don't know yet. I need to ask like the guy who's going to sell them to me what kinds he has because I've tried the golds, the reds, the silver blues, the reds 100s. Um yeah, that's about it. But I feel like there should be something else. Not sure. But yeah, I'm going to ask him. We have arrived. I'm going to take my ID cuz this is like a school area, so it's very possible that I'm gonna get ID'd which I am very flattered about all the time because it's like y'all think I'm not over 18 thanks you know I'm 21 so if I look younger than that banger but yeah I will I will be right back I mean I guess I'm taking you guys I don't know if I'm gonna record all right I'm scared I'll see you there Olá, Olá. boa tarde que tipos de mal é que tem? Pois tem o, o gold e o silver What's your soft? That was one weird interaction because she was like, I think you have tried everything because I told her I have tried the Marlboro Silver Blue, Gold and the Reds and she was like, well, have this one, you know. She gave me the softs and she just said that the soft are just called soft because the box is like soft instead of being like a cartoon, cart, you know, the, the thing that's harder than just paper. I don't know the name of it for, for it in English, um, but yeah, it is what it is. Um, I think I'm just gonna head home now and I hope you guys enjoyed this little vlog, I guess. I don't know, um, but yeah, I'll see you very soon and I hope you enjoyed. Bye. <laughs>